Hello everyone and welcome back, it's Declan here. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to get any car for free and store it in your garage in GTA 5 Online. And this glitch is by far the best way to do it on YouTube now. A lot of people actually post videos like this and you have to be in a public session to do this whereas this is one of the only tutorials on YouTube yet I think this is the first one on how to do this in an invite only session as you guys are now going to see very shortly so I hope you guys do go on to enjoy today's video if you do feel free to drop a like down below guys maybe share it with your friends or something as it really does help me out and without further ado let's jump straight into the tutorial so to start this off, the first thing you guys want to do is go into any random online session. It can be either invite only or online, it doesn't really matter, this is just starting the glitch off. And you want to come to this location on the map right here. It's just down the road from the Eclipse Towers apartments and basically you want to walk into this small little parking lot marked right here on the map. As you guys can now see, I am inside of the parking lot and you guys want to do the same and once you are there what you want to do is press start then go to online then go down to options and make sure that your spawn location is set to last location now once you guys have done that simply leave gta online and what we are basically doing now is we are making sure that our last location has saved inside of this parking lot so once it spawns you into single player simply go back into online and as you guys can see when i do spawn back down i have spawned relatively close to the parking lot which means my last location has saved here now once you guys have got that set up, what you then want to do is press start once again. Now this is where the hardest part of the glitch comes into play. What you want to do is you want to press start, then go across to the game store and press A once. It will now put you onto a screen that says are you sure you want to access the Xbox game store. Now be prepared here guys, you want to press A and on the very first flash or the very first zoom out, you want to pull out your ethernet cable as fast as you can. Now either disconnect your router, pull out your ethernet cable, pull out your wireless adapter, do anything to disconnect yourself from Xbox Live at the first flash that you guys see. Now if done correctly what will happen is, is it will spawn you down into a single player session. You may get a few error messages that come up in the process and also guys I do believe this works on the PlayStation. If it doesn't do not worry I will have a link down in the description down below for you PlayStation users. This will work the same way and you guys will see very shortly how the invite only part works. Anyway guys once you do spawn down into the single player session what you then want to do is load up your game save. Now you have to load a game save guys i cannot emphasize enough you need to load a game save at that point in time and as soon as you guys have loaded up your game save it will then load you into a single player session now at this point guys you can go ahead and get any vehicle that you want in single player you can go ahead and fully upgrade it and then you can actually bring that vehicle online into an invite only session as you guys are going to see me do very shortly so what i would suggest is that you press start go to your map and go to michael's garage which is located is the blue icon on the map if you're using trevor or franklin it will be color coded for them players so basically go over to michael's garage as there is free dlc vehicles in there things like the zentorno the massacre the huntley the albany roosevelt everything like that will be for free in michael's garage so you guys can go ahead and get them and then you can fully upgrade them in the los santos customs and then from there you are ready to go so what you need to do is once you have the vehicle that you want to bring in is you want to come back over to the same location that you was in in multiplayer which is right there on the map again in the parking lot as you guys are going to see now so as you can see i'm currently parking the vehicle and my parking skills are terrible guys i know but once you guys have parked the vehicle that you have chosen to be brought into online i would suggest making a quick save once you have parked it as of then of course if you do need to bring it online ever again you can just load up the quick save rather than going to get the vehicle every single time nevertheless once you guys have parked it in one of the parking spaces you then want to go ahead and plug back in your ethernet cable or plug back in your wireless adapter or your router to make sure that you can connect properly now once you guys have plugged them back in what you then want to do is press start then go to online as you guys can now see and then you want to press a and it will prompt you to sign back in to the account you disconnected from so as you guys can now see i'm going to do that right now i did disconnect from this account so i'm going to go ahead and sign back into the account you originally disconnected from at the start and then go ahead and hit play gta online when the option appears now what's going to happen is when you guys do eventually hit play gta online and then press go it will then say are you sure you want to quit gtav press a and then it will say one or more downloadable content packs are missing now 
now press A again and here is where the invite only part of the glitch comes into play. So what you want to do is download any of the DLC packs that say installed. It doesn't matter which one you download guys, it's not going to officially download it or delete it. It's just a necessary part of the glitch to actually get it to work. And if none of the packs say installed for you, don't worry, try to download one of the ones that say purchased. I'm sure this will still work the same way. But nevertheless guys, once you have downloaded the pack, this is where the invite only part comes into play. Now what you want to do is press nothing as soon as the pack's downloaded, simply wait and have your friend invite you to a closed friend session. Now once he has sent you that invite to the closed friend session, whilst you are still in the game store, what you then want to do is accept his invite. Now once you guys have accepted your friend's invite, you want to wait around 5-10 to 10 seconds on the game store menu and from there you want to press B to back out. And what will happen is, is it will try to transition you into an online session, but before it manages to do that, it will say, are you sure you want to join a GTA online session? Any unsaved progress will be lost. And as soon as you guys press A, it will then spawn you down into your friend session, not an online one. It will now spawn you down into your friend's session because you have now accepted your friend's invite doing the method that I have just showed you. And also the vehicle has now successfully transferred from single player to multiplayer as you guys can now see the vehicle has spawned there in the exact parking spot that I parked it in single player which means we have now successfully transferred it and the glitch has worked perfectly. That is pretty much it for the video guys you can now store this in your garage using the insurance glitch if you guys want to check that out i will have a link to that in the top right corner or in the description down below i will leave a link you guys can click that just to see how you can actually store these in your garage for absolutely free as it is kind of another tutorial in itself and i don't want to keep you guys waiting for you know minutes but nevertheless guys that's pretty much it once again guys ps3 users you may have to do a different single player to multiplayer glitch but essentially it will work the same way for the invite only part nevertheless if you ps3 users out there want me to do a complete tutorial on this even though it will work the same way kind of then make sure you leave a like down below or maybe comment down below if you want me to actually do this on playstation 3 and i will go ahead and get that recorded and upload it anyway guys with that being said that's pretty much it from me so i will see you all in the next video